Good morning and welcome to Captain Morgan's Ball Games. Today's video will be about my 3D printing and well, my new 3D printer and everything. Uh, my plans going forward with that. Uh, you'll, you'll probably hear it in the background going off at the moment. In a minute we'll go table down and, and look at the thing, but before we get into all that, let's uh, do all the uh, bits. If you like my channel, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button to stay up to date with all the content and comment mainly. I, I enjoy interact with you. Uh, I have a Q&A session which I love taking questions 40k related or not it doesn't matter. Uh, I've got a so let's get into the main topic of this. Uh, I've recently bought an Elegant Mars Pro printer. Uh, after I sorted the plate out on that I, I started printing and been printing for a while now. I'm happy with the quality of the prints coming out now so without further ado let's go table down and look at what's been I've printed and I'll go through with them. Right so far this is some of the printing I've done. I can't show everything because uh, some of the models I'm printing I've gone in half with my mate on the Patreon and I don't get the privilege to uh, show the prints or anything else with them uh, even though we're paying half so it's in his name so unfortunately I can't do that but no. Uh, Uh, but everything here is stuff I've bought and I've got or I, I've downloaded and uh, or and some of the stuff I've made myself right so let's have a closer look the front few mo uh, models which if I zoom in there, those were the mini, my mini factory free, freebies. Yeah, and then over here and going backwards, them going all the way to the back are. Uh, from 3D Colts, my North Blood Bowl team. The totem. Oh. The t tables at the back, the skulls, the stitch. The Sean 18 and the painted blue stitch are a product for my niece who died of DIPG. Uh, we did our 18th birthday this August when we, we do try. I made the uh, heart in Tinkercad. Uh, same with the butterfly at the back. I'm just trying different things at the moment, and that's going into a pyramid hopefully it'll be purple and it will have lights in and that will go on a grave that's a, something special I haven't told my sister yet and uh, big, big orc war boss on bike As you, yeah Necron bases, you or bases you can see. Uh, 
I've got other bases, I've got a uh, lot of the bases I can do. <laughs> Paw Patrol pup for my granddaughter. That one, I'm painting stitches for my daughter. And over on this side, my, my other granddaughter wanted a stitch too, and she started painting her own stitch. Uh, and of course, I've tried three skulls. Now, with the uh, 3D printer on, I'm looking at terrain and I might buy other, an, an FDM a filament printer to print for big, bigger pieces of terrain, but I terrain and bases and movement trays are what I'm looking at. So, I will be looking at doing that and making that a uh, reality and I'll be selling those pieces on either Etsy or eBay, somewhere like that. Uh, I've done a few test pieces, I've done a New York ball for a friend at work. Uh, another friend at work wants a D&D &D dice box, it's in, in the shape of D&D &D book, I've got to try and sort that out. And at the moment on the printer, you, you, you probably hear it in the background printing, I've got a rock piece printing. So a large rock, which will go towards my orc terrain to set. if it prints properly and I've supported it well enough but we'll see it's about a seven hour file so be interesting uh yeah feel free to comment what you think uh any questions you've got about the pr printing and printer I'd be happy to uh, or, or, or if you're interested in something, let me know, and we'll talk about it. Thank you for watching. If you've been have enjoyed, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also, feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.